Hello, 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 everybody. I hope y'all are all having a good day. And, um, it is the start of a new day. It is currently 10.03 a.m. when I'm playing this. Um, I'm playing a game that you might have heard of, but you might have not, called Toe Jam and Earl. Now I actually move my mouse cursor, and just so y'all cannot see that. I'm just gonna pretend like, yeah, it's over there now. And the resolution isn't the greatest, but, um, it's not bad. Or it is bad, but you know what, this is a Sega Genesis game. I don't remember when it came out. Was it like 1993? And it's, um, it's, it's a lot of fun. I really like it. So, the premise of this game is you basically gotta go around and you, you're a bunch of two funky aliens that crashed onto a planet that we know as Earth, but they're from Funkotron. And they crashed onto this planet and you gotta find all your ship pieces while ascending more and it gets harder and harder. And this game basically like revolutionized roguelikes in a way. Like you know, this is a roguelike and I love roguelikes. It's a really long one though. So, I'm playing on a fixed world where it's basically just this one world. But there's also an option to play random worlds. Um So the game never gets old. It's it's a really um smart game. Uh Greg Johnson did a good job. So basically you go through and that's the map. You have to find a rocket ship piece. There's 25 levels. However, um you could also um just not get a rocket ship piece on one of the levels and that's when you have to find an elevator and just go up but on the ones with a rocket ship piece you have to find the rocket ship piece and then go in an elevator and then go so now we got to find the elevator and it could be anywhere but the map is pretty well thought out and it, the game's just got a lot of creativity for a sega genesis game i mean like the sega genesis was a great console so it's like, wow. Dude, the Dreamcast, I want to get a Dreamcast one day. The Dreamcast is like the blind melon of consoles. You know, it's it's everyone's fault that they didn't do too good outside of one song. Because they weren't a one-hit wonder because one song was good. They were a one-hit wonder because we were just not giving them a good chance. Okay, these are mailboxes. And later on in the game, um, just don't even... Oh dang it, I should have done the world, um, the world zero easter egg. I could still do it because, you see, when you fall off the edge, you don't die. What the? Oh, okay. This, this is a weird emulator. <laughs> Emulators, am I right, guys? But yeah, when you fall off the edge, you actually go to the world below you. Like, I w if I were to fall, I would go to level two. Um, and I think that's actually like a really really cool idea Because falling off the edge is something that will happen like if you died when you fell off the edge this game would basically be impossible Because it's really easy now It gets really harder later on you go. It'll get to a point where it's like Basically the worst combination you'll find in not in this game, but in the entire world is the fact that there's um sand like quicksand even though you don't even die in it, it just sinks you. Um, and then in that quicksand, there's the boogeymen, which are invisible, but you can still see them. But they're basically faster than you, especially in quicksand. So they basically just butt rape you for a solid um, good amount of time until you die. And it can be very aggravating, but it's fun. Let's start using some of our presents, because that's the way we're going to level up. See how we're a wiener? Yeah, well, we could be a bro. If we're a Sigma male, we could be a bro. Oh, carrot guy. Yeah, so basically some of the guys are friendly. This guy's friendly. Got two bucks. Um, I don't quite want to do that yet, though. Basically, not all of the presents are good. Some of them can be bad. And when I say bad, like, they're bad to their own extent. Like, let's see what this one is. Okay, so this one's okay. It just teleports you to a random spot. So I'd say it's a good present because you don't have to do it. But then there's stuff like this one. Tomato. Okay. So this is good also because we can we can now assault people. 
if we're good. I'm not even going to try to kill her because it is not easy. Who goes into lockdown and this guy walks in with tomatoes? You know, you know you're screwed, man. Yes, we're a doofus now. What what did that even do? Whatever. I'm a doofus, and I'm very good, and I'm like a professional now, and that's all that really matters. Hi. The Cupid, they invert your controls. Or change them around whenever uh, you touch them so they're pretty good to stay away from let me uh one part about this game is it can be kind of like difficult obviously that's like all roguelikes though all roguelikes are kind of difficult to a good extent because it's so trial and error and that's just how it's kept fresh you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying Oh, gosh, dude. Gosh, dude, lead on it. Okay. The randomizer is pretty bad. It can be good, but it can also be bad, and most of the time it's bad. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, that one's okay. You know, if there's actual enemies. There's one... There's a lot of presents that are bad. Um, One... Some of... Most of them can be good if you actually, like, use them to your advantage, like the rocket skates. But most of the time, they just end in complete destruction however the um there's another one uh called the total bummer there's nothing positive about the total bummer does i think it randomizes all your presents but it also loses a life which is like kind of bad i i'm not gonna be able to swim that oh crap chill chill chill, chill. okay i'm gonna be on this level for a while aren't i you aren't helping, Hula Girl. Okay, so I don't think there's an elevator anywhere around here. There's a, the Hula Girls remind me of the um, Jaded music video, you know, um, the Green Day song, Rain Stew slash Jaded. Somebody came up outside. I think I'm cool. Um. All right. We're gonna use some pie tops because this is taking too long. Book it. Book it. Book it. Oh my god. Oh. Santa! Get Santa. Get him. Get him. Get him. I never understood like how to get Santa. He just kind of flies away instantly. Okay, that's moldy bread. We don't want to get that because it'll make us lose health instead of gain health. Here we go. I needed those high tops is why. High tops are really, really good. If there is one thing that I could think is that this entire soundtrack is not copyrighted. Sorry for that volume increase. I have my microphone right up to my mouth. Not anymore though. Ow. Clone bees. The bees are awful. Him. Oh my rocket skates. Oh that was almost bad. No, no, no. Oh my god. Okay, wait, there's a shit piece on this level, correct? No, okay. Yeah, there's a good amount of time. Oh yeah, the roads. Um you actually walk faster on them. She's bad, she's bad. She's a, like she yells at her kid after a while. So she's a she's a child abuser. Okay, well, we're done with that level. Ooh. Oh no, that's moldy cheese. We do not want moldy cheese. I really like my new microphone, and I hope y'all like it too, since you know it's a huge, huge audio upgrade for my old one. You know, it's like halfway decent. That was really bad, actually. Okay. Now who's 
skin lays in That's all the they should do We should make some crazy Looks up when to take a stand But he's in the city He's gone, I know Oh, the wizard girl Um, She's very helpful She could basically She's probably like the best one out of all of them in my opinion Because for an entire book she heals all your health Which is like Really good for a book The thing about this game compared to Back in the Groove, Back in the Groove is really good, but, um... For some reason, the enemies do a lot more damage, but it's a lot easier to gain health, whereas... What the... What was the point in that? Oh yeah, that one is meant to teleport you to your friend, but because I didn't have a friend, it just didn't work. Oh my god. Can I stop dancing? Okay, okay. That was a really long dance. No, no, stop, stop, stop. This game's definitely in my top 10 um, games of all time. Oh wow, that's just so helpful. Have I been this way already? Yeah, okay. Um, this is a really big map. Oh my gosh. You know what this calls for? Do you know what it calls for, guys? You know what it calls for? Yeah. Breaking out these guys now. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I found the elevator. Dang it! Oh, that was bad. Well, we have a rocket ship piece, we gotta get it though, so. This is useless. <laughs> okay. Great. You gotta be kidding. Wow. Okay. Oh, we have not ran into this dude yet. Wow, that's crazy, because, like, he was supposed to... He's pretty creepy. Oh, he's chasing me. Okay. Alright, I think I'm going to end it off here. We're going to do a second... Um... We'll do a, a second, um... Playthrough in a, another time, like a part two. But for now, we shall end it off here. And goodbye, everybody. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and goodbye. Look, he's sleeping.